welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with the Friday Dollar Tree Haul. Happy Friday and happy Easter because I will not see you again until it is over. But I hope everybody has a fantastic Easter. Obviously, <clears throat> a happy and healthy Easter. I can't believe it's Easter. Um, <laughs> time goes by so quick. My voice is just a little bit froggy today. It's been a long week. Believe me when I tell you. But my hair is like flat. I, I, I give up today. Okay. Um, <laughs> but thankfully, it's Friday. And now we can enjoy the weekend. And it's going to be great. So Dollar Tree Day. So many fantastic things. Got some regular household things that I needed. So we're just gonna hop right in here and show you some of the really cool stuff that I got today. So picked up the floor cleaner. It's a lavender scent. It is Fabuloso, original multi-purpose cleaner. This is the one that I always get. It's the purple one, again, lavender. They had a couple different ones. I did not take pictures of that, to be honest. I didn't think about it um, until right now. But I want to say there was a blue one and a yellow one. I would assume lemon scent, maybe. I don't know. But the purple one is the one that I use all the time. I think it smells fantastic. I always also pour a little bit of bleach in my bucket. So I pour a little bit of bleach and I use this and I love it. This is a... 16.5 fluid ounce bottle. And again, I love the smell of that. I also got my go-to gain fabric softener. This is a 10 fluid ounce bottle. You guys already know, I don't need to tell you. I swear by this, I live by this. I think your clothes smell fantastic. They're soft, they're wonderful. <sighs> gain is my ultimate favorite. So, of course I got that. Lazy. What was it the other day or last week? I got the fabric softener sheets as well. I picked up just two little cleaning tools from there. This one says a dish brush, soft grip, new and improved handle. And that is what this looks like. I don't use these to clean my dishes there. It's actually kind of rough, but I actually use this to clean Miss Chloe's litter box. <laughs> to be honest, it was time for a new one, but every every time I empty it, I scrub it out real good, clean it out real good, and then refill it with the litter. So this comes in handy for me. It's got like a nice rubber grip on it for the handle, and this is just good for me to like really kind of scrub and make sure that she, I'm squinting. Do you see this? I'm tired today um, to scrub out that litter box of hers. So I got that one. And then I got this one, which is a soft grip scrub brush. Again, this is new and improved handle on it. I love these. This is my go-to shower scrubbing brush. I love this brush too. It is kind of, it says soft. It is like kind of as rough as that little one there. But this is, for me, a great tub shower scrubber. And I like these. They just had to be replaced. So I grabbed a new ones today. And I've had the old ones for a little while now. So they do stay pretty good uh, intact. Excuse me. And they're definitely my go-to brushes. Now, this here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I have never used. I just saw it. It's pink and it's purple. So it caught my eye. It is called Multi-Purpose Cleaning Paste. Now, I have heard of cleaning paste before. I have never used a cleaning paste, but I saw this and decided I'm going to give it a try. And that's what I'm going to do. It says no more tough stains. You can use this in the kitchen, bathroom, laundry room, indoors, outdoors, multi-surfaces. Um, let me just read. Seven ounce container. It says for grills, stove tops, ovens, pots, pans, Glass and silverware, chrome and tile, shower sinks and toilets, granite countertops, washer dryer, mold, mildew, soap scum, mineral deposits. I'm just going to give it a shot. I mean, I don't know, right? If anybody has used it, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Let us all know in the comments how it worked for you. If you liked it, if you recommend it, if you don't, I love to hear things about it. I'm going to give it a shot anyway. And of course, you see me, right? I got to like pull this 
out here so I can read it. Blah, 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 blah. It should be applied carefully using a small amount. Apply the product to the surface you wish to clean. Rub the surface gently with a soft sponge or cloth. Applying too much pressure may scratch the surface. Rinse with hot water when finished. Um, surfaces such as glass, polished steel, ceramic should be first, well, should first be tested in an unnoticeable area. Do not use this product at any surface that is hot or warm. So we'll have it upside down for you. So again, this is what it looks like. And we're just going to give it a shot and I'll let you know. I will let you know. You open it up and it just kind of, this thing didn't, I was trying to open it before. And it's really just being difficult for me for some reason. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And I rubbed my finger on it and it is just, just like a soapy feeling to it, like a paste, obviously. So it smells like cleaning product. <laughs> so if that helps at all. Now I just gotta wipe my finger. I have a tissue here. Cause I don't wanna get it on my clothes or anything. But we're gonna give it a shot, you never know. Could be like a wonderful little hidden gem at the Dollar Tree, you know? And I just picked up another bottle of this vitamin E. I ran out. So this is 30 soft gels. This is what the bottle looks like. The company is People's Choice. And I've been taking them for about a month now. Um, I know, I, I think I told you, vitamin E and vitamin C were recommended right along with, I almost said metformin. And that is not what I was thinking. And I was going to say metabolism. I am not. My brain's not functioning today. Magnesium. Oh, lordy, lordy. Magnesium. Vitamin A, vitamin C for that racing heart thing I have going on here. And I just hit the wrong side. My heart's over here. So I can't really tell. I don't feel as if it's really slowed the heart rate down at all. But, you know, they say you have to take it for a while before you'll really see any effects from it. So I just keep doing that in hopes. I did get put on a little beta blocker, like I told you. And... I think I need to kind of like maybe go back and talk because it still isn't really bringing it down to where I want it to be. So I saw this really cute picture. Uh, nope. Okay. It says life is meant to be lived. And look how cute this is. So you have the background, multicolored background, which really makes it pop. The gold frame really, really brings it out. And then you have this confetti on the inside, which is like... So, I, that's too fast, right? Um, <laughs> so cute. Again, the back comes off. It may have to be kind of, well, you can kind of see in there. So you could get like a pair of scissors or something in there and pop that out. If you wanted to, for multiple things, take the confetti out. If you want to replace the background, if you want to redo the entire thing, you want to leave it as is, whatever you want to do. But there's options, guys. I just thought these are really cute. I think there was three different sayings. Those I do have pictures of, so I will show you at the end of this video, but they were super cute. Had to get that. Oh my goodness, okay. There was just like a couple, like just really cute, pretty things that I bought today. There was these signs. There was these signs. Okay. Um, there were these signs and it was all about women, strength of women. This one here says, Here's to strong women. May we know them. May we be them. May we raise them. And I thought that was just super sweet. I love the message. I have a daughter. Obviously, I am one. Um, <laughs> raised by a strong woman. I am a strong woman trying to raise a strong woman. So I love this. I think the picture is really cute. You can, uh, we're going to take the, ouch, the plastic off here. So you can actually hang this as well if you wanted to, but it also is thick enough to just stand. There it is. Here's the back. So the back's like hollowed out. And they had a couple different ones with different sayings on them, and they just caught my eye, and I had to have one. So I will show you at the end of this video the other ones that they had for your choosing. They had this little cube, and on each side of this cube has a different saying. And just, it's just adorable, right? So each side has a different saying. The top, the top does as well. I have it upside down. Now, the only thing that I noticed afterwards was the bottom. 
has a sticker on it. I tried to remove it and it does not seem like it's going to be an easy sticker to remove. So I'm hoping that, oh no, wait, we might get lucky. I'm hoping that it comes off okay. So we can see what this says under here. Eh, almost. So a little bit of peeling. We can get the rest of that off. So we're just gonna get off what we can real quick. A heart that loves, oh, wait, wait, the heart that love is always young. I think that might be a little wrong, but that's okay. We have love is a pardonable insanity. Okay. I will love you forever. There is only one happiness in life to love and be loved. All you need is love. And then brief is life, but long is love. So I thought that was just super sweet. I really did. I thought it was just a super sweet thing. Also, if it's just, you can move at the bottom one, you're not ever going to see, but <laughs> you can see this from all angles, which is really precious. And the other thing is if you wanted it just for the cube and you couldn't find like this size cube and you wanted to redo this, you could obviously very easily cover all of the sides and make it your own. But it was just precious. I got that. I did just pick up these two little Easter buckets, I guess. They're really cute, too. We have some Easter eggs in there. Happy Easter. What does the front say? Wishing you an extra special Easter. And we have designs and pictures all over it. And it's just super cute. And a nice little ribbon. So I'm just going to fill this with some little candies. I got two of them. I got that one I just showed you. And this one right here, look how cute that Easter egg is. This is Happy Easter. Oh, and I didn't show you the inside of that one, but this one is super decorated with all the really cute Easter eggs. We have a gnome. Look how precious, right? And this one has like a really cool green ribbon here. So my kids are older, as you know, and they're not really big into candy. They never really have been. So I got little tiny Easter. Easter buckets, baskets for them. Now these little gift boxes, I don't even know why I bought them. No, that's a lie. I know exactly why I bought them because they are the most adorable little gift boxes I've ever seen. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but they are the most adorable gift boxes I've ever seen. Look at this here. This is stunning. And that's funny to say about a gift box, but it is stunning. Here is the top. You can see that that gold shines when the light hit it, hit it, hits it. And this unicorn on each side, is it a unicorn? Yes, unicorn, oh, there it is, on each side is just stunning. I love the gold, it makes it just pop. The inside, bleh, all right, just cardboard. But <laughs> the actual box itself, stunning. I love it. They had a couple different ones. I think I bought one in each one they had. So they had this size right here. And it doesn't tell me what it is, but just is not intended for food. So we have this size here. And then look at this. This, again, precious. I love the different colors, the little rainbow effect we have, and those gold stars. As you can see, I'm moving it around. And you can see the way the light hits that. It, it just shimmers and it's just so pretty. And again, with the cardboard on the inside. But here is size comparison. These were the only two sizes that they had. So I got these two, and they're just gorgeous, correct? Like, and then this one, which, oh my goodness. There is the top. Got a little swirly going on there. And again, with that gold, the gold is what really makes these just pop. And I'm just loving them. Now, I'll have to wait until I go back in the pictures because part of me thinks there was four, but I think I would have bought all four because they really were just stunning gift boxes. I just love these so much. I also picked up, hold on. Okay. I picked up just a pack. It's six thank you cards. They're from Hallmark. 
expressions from Hallmark and they're just cute. These are the front. They are blank on the inside for you to write a personal message. I picked these up because um, I told you that I had applied for a new job. Everything seems to be going very well. I did get a tentative offer. It is not yet official, but I wanted to thank the three people that I used for my job references. Of course, all three are very important and special people to me, and I wanted to thank them for giving me the references that they did. So I bought these cards and I want to get a bunch of other little things and I'll show you. I want to put together like little gift baskets for them and I will show you that stuff when I find it. Um, <laughs> I have to get some, but I did start with the cards. So we're in the right direction here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Moving on. I went in the makeup section and I got a couple of things. So let me show you. Just a few. Oh wait, before I get to the makeup, here are these push pins. This is Corner Office by Jot. These are assorted 20 piece push pins, but my heavens, look at these. We have like a light pink, purple, a green, a blue. They're like a metallic-y looking color. I don't know if we can see it that well with the plastic. We're gonna try to take these out here. Look how cute these are. I had to buy them. I don't even have a cork board to use push pins in, but I had to get them. <laughs> I will go get one if I have to <laughs> because I loved these. And maybe, just maybe, if somebody happens to get a new job and has a bulletin board that might need some push pins, then I'll have some. Um, <laughs> I just thought they were really super cute. Got those. Now, the couple of things that I bought in the makeup section here. Of course, my go-to auto eyeliner. This is black, smooth application. It's by LA Colors. This is the one that I get all the time. And yes, I swear by it. I really do. It says that it is smudge proof. I don't know if you can see mine on. It hasn't budged at all. And I love it. But yeah, seriously, completely recommend, 100% recommend. And the only time this ever smudges or gets sloppy is if I fall asleep with it on. <laughs> okay? Other than that, I don't ever have an issue. The only other time I will say an issue with it is when I put cream under my eyes in the morning and then I put my eyeliner, sometimes it does run a little bit into like where the cream is because of the, the lotion. Other than that, I have zero issues with it. I absolutely love it. I want to try this. This is by Hard Candy, which I know is a great brand. It's called Fox in a Box. It's a scratch and sniff, first of all. And it's a highlighter. It's marbleized baked highlighter. I don't have any on today. Normally, it's those cheekbones right here on the nose kind of brings the light to those points. And it's super cute. And Hard Candy's a good, good company. Now this says scratch and sniff and it's supposed to smell like a cupcake. I don't think I want to eat a cupcake that smells like perfume. Um, <laughs> but we're just going to give it a try. I think it's, it looks hmm, like it shimmers really nice. So we're going to give that a shot. I also picked up just a clear lip gloss. This is by LA Colors as well. My lips are always dry. I use a ton of chapstick that I do. A lot of the times I don't, I haven't found a lipstick that I've liked in a really long time. So a lot of the times I'll use a pencil to color in my lips and then I'll just throw like a clear lip gloss over it. I have never tried this one here, but it is just, oh, it says a new look. And it's just regular, clear, glossy finish. So again, another thing I'm going to give a shot and I will let you know how I feel about it. And then the last thing I got is just an eyeshadow palette. It's color coordinated. This is traditional. You get 12 colors of eyeshadow. It is also by LA Colors and it's the nude eyeshadow palette. We're going to take it out of there. It's probably still going to shine though because the lid is clear plastic, but let's see if this helps any. There we go. 
So this is the nude eyeshadow palette colors and I am a very neutral person, nude person, neutral colors, I guess, nude colors on the eyes. I use a lot of like tan, brown, and then actually you'll probably see that. I don't have it on today, but this one here is usually in the corners to kind of brighten up the eyes. So eh, why not, right? We're just going to give it a shot. So LA Colors Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Again, first time I'm going to try this, so I will keep you posted. But that is there we go. That is all I have for you guys today. I wish everybody a very happy and healthy Easter. Have a fantastic Friday. And until next time, bye now.